Hey guys, so sometimes life happens, accidents happen, and you need to be able to rent a wheelchair. I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of renting a wheelchair or ECV here at the Walt Disney World Resort and what you need to know with regards to it. So over here at Oscars, this is where you're gonna rent your strollers and wheelchairs at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So these are the prices for all the rentals. So you can get a single stroller for 15, a double stroller for 31, a wheelchair for 12, or an ECV for 70. Here's the deal. If you want to do a multiple day, it's $10 per day, but you have to tell them when you purchase it the first time how many days you want it for. Then what you do is you bring back your receipt each day and they just give you a wheelchair. You can see it says wheelchair voucher just for today. Now, a couple tips is you can't park up with a wheelchair. So if you have, if you need a wheelchair like your entire stay, you're gonna be better off renting one from Scooter Bag. It's the uh, like recommended vendor for Walt Disney World. They actually recommend it on their website. Um, so we actually want to park up over to Epcot. So what we would do is we would drop this one off here, and then park up, and then when we get to Epcot, show our receipt, and they'll give us another wheelchair. So the one we got is just a normal wheelchair. We did not get an ECV. The ECVs are about $70, which I don't really care. Like, I'll push it. But yeah, we're gonna show you what it's like to go through the lines, any issues we have. So you actually, on the back of the uh, wheelchair, you get two cup holders, and then there's, I guess there's a small basket. So you can tell I've got one cup here, nothing here, and then there's a little like basket here. Then you would slide your name tag in here. So we are in line for Toy Story. What's cool is you can actually push the wheelchair throughout the entire line. I believe you're just gonna have to transfer once you get to the actual ride. Wheel. So yes, we are in line for Toy Story Mania. You're able to stay in the wheelchair or the ECV the entire time. You just will have to, I believe you'll have to transfer um, at the end. But I will confirm that for you guys. So they did just ask us if we were okay to transfer uh, today. And since we are, we we're just gonna transfer from our wheelchair. Um, to the ride vehicle once we get inside Toy Story Mania, which is awesome. So one little thing, it's kind of simple to push through the lines, but some of like the switchbacks, you kind of have to take wide turns. So if you have like large or long legs, there's a chance you might knock them into the pole, especially if you're a bad driver like me. So just be aware that some of the turns are kind of tight, but they do fit. So they're sending us down a secret path because we're in a wheelchair. They asked us if we're able to transfer and take a couple steps I clarified and made sure they didn't need stairs for our party. They didn't. They literally meant like three steps. So, which is good. So we are going up. <laughs> we are going uphill. Okay. So just to note, if you are pushing a wheelchair, you do have to go up a ramp. Yeah. And then when you get off the ride, the wheelchairs are just waiting off to the side for you. So I asked, because we are able to transfer, what would happen if we couldn't transfer out of our wheelchair and they said they have a vehicle that you can transfer into from your wheelchair so that's really good to know so if you can't transfer they do have a vehicle that you can transfer into like on your wheelchair which is super awesome a plus for accessibility now in restaurants they allowed us just to bring this in and we just parked it next to our table so uh yeah that's how we're doing it i don't know if this is how we're supposed to do it but oh well so after renting a wheelchair for a full day at Disney and park hopping, here's a couple things we learned. If you need a wheelchair to get to and from your car, sometimes if they have them available, they will have sort of um, wheelchairs that you can take to and from your car with a big pole on it. That's to show that they are like not to be used like in the park while walking around. They're literally just to get you from your car to the rental place or the rental place to your car. Um, they are complimentary, but they may not always be available. I was talking to um, the cast member at the rental location at Epcot, and she explained if they don't have them available um, and they're running low on wheelchairs, they won't always offer them. But they have, if they have them to offer and you need one, just ask and they will provide one. Something that my fiance, who is who I was pushing in the wheelchair, mentioned is that the seat is very uncomfortable. It actually puts a lot of pressure on your back. Um, just from the way that it like kind of sags because it is like mesh. So he said next time he would totally bring like a seat cushion to just like set on top of it so it's a little bit sturdier. Um, 
or a pillow or anything like that. I'm sure even a thick like jacket would work, um, but just something to add a little bit more cushion and stability. I also mentioned this briefly in the video, but if you have someone who has long legs or large feet, making turns and like parking the wheelchair can be a little bit dangerous just because um, you have to really be aware of how much their feet stick out from the wheelchair. I bumped into his feet quite a few times uh, due to that fact. But everywhere was super awesome. Like no one gave us any issues for having a wheelchair. They were super accommodating. They were awesome. I would totally rent one again from Disney. Now I mentioned in the video, if you're gonna be here for a long period of time, Scooter Bug is definitely gonna be a better option. Um, if you want like an ECV, I will link all that info down below as well as all the wheelchair rental info on the Disney website. But leave any questions or comments you have about wheelchair rentals at Disney down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along with me on my social media. And I'll see you guys next time. And this is Bridget's Buzz.